What's up guys, Express Design here and I'm back with another video. Something anime related again. After 4 videos, I don't know how long. But I, I said to you guys that I'm going to do less anime related. So this is the um, last one and first one of this month. The rest is going to be just dope related, not anime related. So I hope this satisfies you guys enough for this month. And until next month or maybe if this month a little one, I don't know. I'll see. Before this video starts, I still want to announce or like say that I have a contest running to win a copy of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. All you have to do is join the Discord and there is a contest page there and you can see all the rules and the requirements. The requirements is just easy. Use my logo or name, follow me on Twitter, join the Discord, design anything you want and put your work in the Discord server so I can check it out. Of course, contact you to give that code. But anyways, I hope you still uh, join the contest and put your work in the Discord server, of course. And yeah, let's just start with the video. First, what you want to do is just make the file size. Uh, Photoshop automatic gives you mobile file sizes if you click on mobile and then view all presets and you have all presets of whatever you want. Choose whatever phone uh, you have or just look it up on Google what uh, size it is. Unlock the layer choose your character i'm gonna just stick with uh, my hero academia choose whatever image you want also i'm gonna put this image in the link of the description so you can so you guys can use that as well make sure if you want to sell this but this is just for personal use because you're going to use this as a wallpaper but if you want to sell this make sure that that is possible uh, but i checked um and you can mention him in his it's cool to use his images but it's cool if you mention him as well. So I'm gonna put a link down in the description where I found it as well. So you guys can have that image. So put that somewhere around here. Nice in the middle, but not too, not too big, not too small. Okay, make a new layer. Fill that layer in with whatever color you want. Just all backspace, doesn't really matter. Then you remove the fill opacity, but you put the stroke on it. So the stroke is still visible, but the inner side is not. And you can put whatever color you want. Or you can make like a dark green or like a dark gray. Or like a black it's whatever you want i'm maybe gonna choose it like a dark gray stuff like there you go because in the previous one i'm uh, did a whole um one with the same color so what i did then is choose a nice background color and i did the same color as the character something like so there you go then i have taken a new layer uh, just above the background and i have taken the same color of the character as the highlights I'm just going to dab behind uh, the character a bit with the brush. It's just simple dabs around his head. So it is like a little uh, light effect coming off him. Just want to put that on the screen and put the fill opacity a bit lower. And I'm going to do that again, but with a darker uh, color. And I'm going to put that below the highlights that we just make, like a dark green. And we're going to just put that in the middle, like so as well. A bit smaller. His head okay also lower the opacity by a lot like put it on a 40 or something like that okay now what i did then is just more typography kind of style um just look up a lot of text from the anime you have go to your text tool click once and then type whatever you want i'm gonna type um i'm gonna search up my hero real quick maybe just deku as the first one deku there you go I'm gonna choose this font. I'm gonna put a link in the description if you want to use the same font. I'm gonna use white. And I'm gonna make sure that the text is a bit closer together. Something like a minus 80. And then I'm gonna put it below everything, or like at the bottom. And if you wanna check the size, just take your uh, press control R to have these little lines pop out and then just put them where the stroke is or where you put the stroke and then make sure the text is in the middle of your work of course and then put that right in the middle like so and that's what you'll have um now what you want to do is duplicate that again put that a uh, bit upwards some like there and just put that below the character like so and what you want to do with that you just want to find something else that is related with the anime i'm just going to pick my hero academia i'm going to copy that text and i'm going to copy deku just Control j that text again put that i'm going to put that a bit upwards oh where's my copy there is my copy it's behind it i'm on the front of it yeah, there you go and i'm just going to make the text a bit smaller I'm going to 
paste my text in there and then I'm gonna control T it so I can rotate it like so and I put that on the left or you can put that on the right as well maybe I'll put it on the right okay and then you can still do a lot more if you want uh, put uh, more text on it maybe fill in the right space but I think for the tutorial purpose this is good enough um what I did then is just click on your character that you just the character that you have it doesn't really matter what you have just duplicate that and make it a, a bit bigger like so and what you want to go is to go to filter to, uh, filter blur motion blur and blur it like it's uh, like 900 ish and what you want to do then is just put your opacity a bit lower around something like that yeah take your brush tool like a 40 and just erase his um, middle parts a bit and that's it really um maybe the sides a bit but that's it okay well, i did that again ctrl j but then i put a green map on top of the character so i'm going to make a green to white but like a more fitting maybe a blue to white okay on a merge too late right ctrl e I'm going to make it a bit bigger but not too much put it below Midoriya. going to back to filter blur motion blur I'm going to blur it but not as much like a little one like 160 like so and also lower the opacity a bit like so i'm going to put the layer on a i think it was this over overlay or a soft light like so and there's a little like outer glow uh, on him going on right for this little lightning effect uh, that i did i'm going to promote one of my favorite designers mixo his enhanced graphics pack uh, link in the description of course is free to use and it's one of the best in my opinion and he has some great um, textures particles lightning flash but in this lightning uh, section there is a lot of great uh, lightning for you to use of course for free in your um, graphics of course so what you want to do is just pick out a couple so i'm going to pick this one and i'm going to put this at the bottom of his foot like i did the previous time like so now then I want to put uh, take another one like this one is really nice in my opinion and I want to put this on his hands like so make it a bit bigger maybe like so okay you want to find another one like maybe this little one you want to maybe put that on the side of his um, knee like so then you want to find of course another one and you can put as many as you want but don't just I wouldn't do it too much because you know it still has to look nice and if you overdo it i think that ruins the image uh, i'm just gonna find one little one again yeah this little one i'm just gonna put his uh, where his hand is um, like so okay i think that's uh, good enough in my opinion uh does the job uh, what you want to do now is take your brush uh, again take the same color as the lightning like like a little light blue something like that and just dot everywhere where the lightning is a couple of dots okay uh, what did i do yeah and just put that on a soft light lower the opacity a bit okay what you want to do then is just select all the layers by holding shift and going down of course and then ctrl j ctrl e to duplicate and merge everything together then select it with the select tool right click layer via cut remove the back image because you don't need that anymore and ctrl j it again because we're going to filter camera raw filter because the color is all over the place i'm going to fix that real quick so you want to go to filter camera raw filter style so i need to give an in-depth video of this camera raw filter because that's really hot a lot of people ask me about this filter uh, camera raw filter um, option and i'm going to do that in one of the next videos so stay tuned for that so just go over to the basics, hide up the contrast because that's the most important one uh, for now. Now what I want to do is maybe the exposure a bit, pop up the lightning a bit more. And then the highlights are just the whites, actually just a bit more, but not too much. Then you want to go to clarity, went straight to color mixer. And there is where you make the colors look the same. So you want to go to this option and you can see uh, an overall look if you wanted to make it a more blue. And I'm going to do it in a more bluish way like so you can also do like a more purple effect but i don't i don't want to do that so i'm gonna go to this blue effect put it to more blue and then the purple's also more to the left then i'm gonna go to saturation i'm gonna pop the blue out a bit more and the green a bit less 
and then uh, what else do we have? We have a bit of a, and if you want to change his uh, belt and his uh, boots by color, you can also change that, but I'm just gonna let them pop out a bit more. Then you have to luminosity, you can also change uh, that a bit um, by how bright the colors are, but I'm not really gonna change that. Maybe the blues a bit, but that's really it. Then we go to calibration. I want to change the red primary, you can see that it does a lot. I'm just gonna slide them a bit to the right and also the green primary a bit to the right as well. And then the blue primary a bit to the left. And then you have this really like blue feeling and that's what I'm going for. Go, just press okay. There you go, that's mostly what I did. Just merge those two layers that you, that you made. Ctrl J again, go to camera raw filter. And what also is a nice touch uh, with these things is the presets. And if you have a look, I think high contrast detail is a really nice uh, touch to this. It makes the blacks even more black. I'm just gonna lower the opacity by a bit. I'm gonna merge it and that it pops out way more. Now what I wanna do is just take the brush and then make it a bit bigger. Uh, how I made that bigger is just holding Alt and going right and left with the mouse by holding the right mouse button. I'm just gonna take the black and just going to make the, the bottom a bit more darker, I guess. Okay, merge that and that is really it that is what i did um you can also go to hue and saturation and change the color um what if you go to like a can go like a, to a greenish i think that really looks and then erase some parts i think that looks really nice like so i think that looks really nice for a wallpaper so that is it really my um phone wallpaper for you guys uh of course you can download this a uh, phone wallpaper png in the description it's just for you to use for your phone or tablet or anything i don't know uh, of course you can download this two wallpapers i made those two those two versions uh in the link in the description also i put like a lens flare in his eye as well if you want that like if you go back to the mixo pack you can, can go to flare and then pick one of his amazing flares what is in this where his eye is make it a bit smaller okay i'm gonna put that on a, a screen of course can, there you go, you can see that a little uh, lens flare on his eye, but I think that really fits and I think this really pops out a lot. I'm just going to remove the lines for now. There you go, and I can really see it full fledged. Maybe this wall will look sick on like, on like a poster in your room. I think that was, uh, would look really sick. Uh, but if you want like a full fledged um, anime wallpaper and more detail and more uh, everything i guess uh, let me know and i'll maybe make that um, but thank you guys for watching this anime phone wallpaper tutorial and i'll see you guys in the next one peace